week here on Twisted Wrench Garage. Uh, I went ahead and bought myself one of those 318 carbs I saw on Amazon. I've heard uh, Vice Grip Garage uh, use those, uh, or use this one, and this one here, and then I've also heard Dylan and Cool used them. Um, so I went ahead and spent the 70 bucks, spent it, I would say well, but we're, gonna, we're actually gonna do a little, I guess, review on this carburetor, I guess you could say, and we're gonna see how this thing runs for a while, that way, uh, any of you fellow Dodge members out there who have a 318 that needs a two barrel for anything, I mean, because this is going to work on a truck, car, anything with a two barrel 318, they generally are fairly close. Uh, mine was the old Holly model on mine, but um, went ahead and got this one, 318 carb, um, two, <laughs> carburetor, two barrel replica, two barrel carb, manual choke, uh, but that's, you know, manual choke, that's just, you set up your, uh, your heat choke from your intake manifold on it. Um, but, you know, I think that's it. I mean, uh, X002O6XRFT. And I can put the part number in the bottom or let you guys know the part number if you guys need it. But um, this isn't for like an 86 and up or anything like that. This is actually for like a 70, 78, 79 model, I would say. Maybe uh, 74 ish. It says it's the early mo earlier model. But it does work on these trucks all the same. I mean, just one has uh, more options than the other. This has less options than the one that I had, but I'm not using all those options, so we, you know, we're not using that. But um, we'll go ahead and get this thing thrown on. Uh, got some more parts in for the truck. Um, you, you guys saw that in the previous video. The wheel uh, or the wheel studs that are the three-inch studs. I, I still got to put those in, um, and uh, I'm gonna have to uh, get some different lug nuts to make those work because my lug nuts are actually too shallow so i'll have to get those too but that's not really a big deal but we'll jump right in all right guys there's a new carburetor and in, in, in the new packaging uh, a few things off of our move over uh, for the breather to reattach um, but this is from an older model because it did you can't look it up for like an 87 um, and up Dodge or whatever. These are for like the um, 78 to, to, to like 82 or something. I don't remember what year it is, but I'll, I'll put the link in the description of where I, where I got it and uh, the part number, etc. But um, you guys know how to pull a carburetor off. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this one off, get this one on, and we'll give her a test fire. All right, guys, got it all, cha all changed out. Uh, the, the things you're going to want to move over from your old carburetor. It's gonna be this hoop here. You just pull it off of one side and it unlatches. Then the other thing you're gonna to wanna to pull off is this rod, uh, half inch and seven sixteenths. It'll unthread and you can pull that off and move it to the new carburetor as well. But other than that, everything else fits fine. All right, as you guys saw, I got that carburetor all changed out. Um, just like, like I said, there's a couple things you can change over with it to make it work uh, with your breather and such. But I've already gone through and I've pulled all the plugs out and I'm starting to clean them off just with a wire brush because obviously they're going to be fouled out. And I'll pull this last one out and show you. that's out give you guys a good view of this here if I can move this way there we go you guys will see it's pretty black and dirty and just fouled from getting too much gas in it from that other carburetor so go ahead and get this uh, spark plug all cleaned up Let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit focus You guys can kind of get an idea. She's pretty dirty. So I'll get her cleaned up and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards and I'll throw it back in. All right, got it all cleaned up. Show you guys the after. Definitely a lot shinier. Don't really feel like putting brand new plugs in this. These are only a year old. I put these in last uh, March or April, I'd say. So I'll throw this bad boy back in then we'll 
try to adjust on the carburetor a little bit, get it started up, and kind of go from there. All right, got the carburetor changed, got the spark plugs cleaned, got them all put back in. Um, I'm not gonna readjust the timing right now. I, I set it to about eight degrees whenever I set the timing initially. Um, I'll fire it up, we'll try to get it tuned a little bit. It does need another oil change because the gas, or the oil's gonna have some, uh, a little bit of gas in it because it was, it was uh, flooding itself out. So I got the stuff to change the oil. I'll knock that out and get that taken care of later. You know, you guys don't, I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch me change oil. But let me go ahead and fire this thing up and uh, see if we can get it tuned on a little bit. on this parts truck starting to get it all pulled apart we got everything pulled apart that we need to get off of it and we're getting ready to start pulling the motor out completely so we'll get done get that done all right guys we got the motor and transmission completely out of this truck um, I started getting the transmission pulled apart from the motor today but I ran out of time uh, as well as the motors locked up so I can't get it rotated over so I can get the rest of the bolts out uh, but yeah <laughs> there you go transmissions out it was really easy obviously because you know there was literally already nothing there all i did was just unhook the power steering pump uh hook the shift linkage throttle cable got went ahead and got rid of the wiring harness got all that is gone it's all sitting inside now i uh, got rid of the belts um fuel lines all that's taken care of and off there you go you can see the wiring harness there but the motor and trans are in the shop right now but there you go. Truck's all pulled apart, ready for transmission to get put in. This black truck. So, probably be back out here tomorrow or the next day, get working on it some more. There you go, guys. Transmission's out. So, uh, we got the, I got the pressure plate off as well, just in case I need it. Torque converter. And then, there's the engine we pulled it off of. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the seals on this before we put it into the into the truck too, front, rear, and uh, sh uh, shift shaft seal. So that'll all get replaced. So we have no leaks. And I'll probably go ahead and do a pan gasket and a pan filter on it as well, just to make sure everything is updated. 
but just wanted to show you guys what we're working with. All right, guys, we got it on the lift. He was able to get it in this weekend. We got the transmission right there. Still need to replace the seals and stuff, and we're also going to do a couple other things because after we got it up on the lift, he noticed that. That freeze plug right there needs replaced. We're gonna go ahead and replace all of them. So, and I've got, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this too as well with the other one I pulled off. So, we'll get to that. But overall, it's really a nice looking truck underneath here. I don't see any holes. Fuel tank, and that's due to, to be determined when we get to that point. Looks like the pinion seal's been leaking. That's gonna need replaced too. Diff cover looks okay. I don't know about the <laughs> about the brakes. We'll get to those as well. Probably need some new shocks. Again, I'm not lowering this one, guys. You guys can see fuel lines and such. See how it looks underneath here. Someone uh, at one point put some cherry bombs on this or glass packs, but. The frame itself looks really good. Not seeing anything that's really concerning. There's the wiring to the transmission. Old air, old oil filter there. Let me get up there and look at these while we're here. The bottom of the head, or the bottom of the block, sorry. Those, those look like they may need replaced too, so. We'll see. Here, we'll focus. <clears throat> kind of curious if we should replace the rear main seal as well since we're here. But I just want to give you guys a little update what we're what we're looking at here. There you go. Went ahead and clean off the block numbers there so you guys could see what we're working with. We do have a 318. Just trying to figure out what year it was produced because it may have been swapped out at some point in time in its life. 4006-730-3181. I can't tell if that's a 6 or an 8. Can you guys tell me? All right, guys. The uh, I wanted to check some information on the truck. I pulled. I went went to look into this area right here. I don't know if you guys can see that little hole right there, but there's actually supposed to be uh, four little rivets that hold this plate in place. So I went ahead and took a few of the screws out on this side, and it was actually it was actually stuffed down into this corner. I could just barely see part of it sticking out right there. So I went ahead and pulled a couple of the screws out and pulled this out, and we're gonna decode this tag and find out what all this truck came with. So, that'll give us a better idea of everything that it came with from the factory. All right guys, got the steering wheel pulled off of that parts truck, uh, a couple other little things, a speedometer cable for my red one, if, if I can get that from him. And then we got the uh, washer, or the uh, wiper motor pulled off of that project, or that parts truck as well. Uh, I'm curious to see if it's going to work for, for Jason. See if we can save him the extra 50, 60 bucks on a new one. But I did go ahead and uh, clean off the other side of the block. I don't know if I can show you guys from where it's at right now, but I will see. Let me go see if I can get you guys a good view. Well, I can't get you guys a good view. I got the, the truck isn't up in the air right now. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to put it up right now. We're not doing anything else to it today. But I did do a, do a cleanup of this passenger side of the engine block. And this block is actually from a 75 model. Um, it's production 75 on, the, on this side. So we got the other numbers on the driver's side, which tell us what block it is, what manufacture date, and those kind of things over there on that side. And then this, this side here will actually give you the direct year. Whereas that side get, told me it was a 76 to 79 block. This over here told me exactly that it was a 75 block. Um, but... I don't know much about this motor. We're gonna figure that out once we get to the point where we're gonna start getting it to the will it run stage. But 
Definitely got to do some stuff to it before it's going to be drivable, that's for sure. Freeze plugs, we're going to get those in. We're going to get the transmission uh, seals all done up. Um, we, we may or may not pull this motor out of this truck just because to, of the fact to make it easier to replace the freeze plugs and go ahead and replace like oil pan, gasket, front and rear main seal, those kind of things. Just kind of make sure that nothing is, is uh, leaking when we go to fire this thing up again for the first time. But that is all to, to be determined uh, just because of, you know, got to get all the parts and such. As you guys can see, I went ahead and pulled off the grill and headlight bezels and grill surround. Went ahead and pulled out the air, air conditioning uh, condenser as well. Because, I don't know if you guys can see, but the lines for the AC that go over there, those aren't actually hooked up, so there's no telling what has been into this system. So I'm not actually going to... Not, I'm not, I don't know that I'm necessarily going to use all of this stuff. Maybe later on down in the future I might go ahead and replace it and get brand new AC stuff so I can, that way I can have AC because I'm an old fart and heat's really killer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just kind of want to give you guys a little update. I know we haven't gotten a whole lot done to the truck. This is going to be a little bit slower of a process on this one. Um, this one definitely needs a little bit more work than my red one did to get it up and going, but... This should be a really good truck. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Um, it's going to turn out really, really nice. I'm happy. The step side, definitely one of my one of my uh, wants here lately. I've been wanting to get a step side. Wanted to get a short bed, but this long bed, factory black, it looks awesome. So there's a little update for you guys. All right, guys, a little bit of an update on the old Dodge Ram here. Uh, I believe it's an 81. I did decode the VIN number from the dash. Um, but I do believe this cab may have been switched over at some point in time to an 86 because I did check the ta or the cowl tag underneath the wiper cowl. Um, and the VIN number on that is actually for an 86. But this, this truck has, has title and everything, so everything is good there. It's just this truck has been ported together, as you guys can tell from who knows how long. Uh, but... Should make should make a good rig. Uh, I know I haven't really done a whole lot onto it here, uh, uh, you know, this week. Um, did get a few parts for Jason's truck uh, from from um, a buddy of mine here. Um, those those should help his truck out quite a bit. That wiper motor, he need, definitely needs wiper motor because his is not in there. It was out when we got it from him. Um, apparently, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the motor's bad or whatever. But whether or not this motor's good or not, I don't know. We're gonna try it out. What's worst gonna happen? I do have all the brand new uh, little rubber bushings that connect the arms to it. So those will all get uh, brand new. I may record some of that and put that in this video as well. Um, and you guys may see that. All right, guys. All right, we're here again with Marshmallow. Did a few things tonight while hanging out with my buddy Jason. Got the wiper motor installed. Uh, got that from my buddy Mike. Um, got the cowl installed with some screws, got the wiper blades installed, and they do, it is, it is working, so it is a used motor, but it is working. So, we'll show you, show you, show you them working real quick. Just to show off, because, you know, why not? Bang, bang. Windshield wipers. He can drive in the rain now. How exciting. But, little uh, little update from, for uh, Marshmallow here for you guys. Oh, we also throw in that new regulator, because he uh, was having some, some uh, charging issues, and it was actually ca causing his, uh, his engine to actually run a little weird. And when he hit second, it actually lost, lost a spark, because the alternator wasn't charging the battery up enough to give 12 volts. Also... I, I, with the new bushings on that uh, wiper motor, I would suggest drilling the hole out on those before you put those in. I fought for like two hours getting trying to get those put in, and after finally deciding to go ahead and drill those out to the same size as what the, you know, uh, wiper shafts are on those, uh, it actually pushed in a little bit further and actually stayed in. I like I said, I fought for like two hours trying to get them to stay on and. I like I cut my hands all up from the cowl and but uh yeah just a little uh little tip for anybody that's going to be doing those in the future there you go 
Uh, then uh, the steering wheel, I'm gonna get those that get that also put in for Jason because he does not like that Grant steering wheel. And I may actually be able to put that uh, steering wheel adapter to use in my red truck uh, if I ever get a um, aftermarket steering wheel for that. So that might actually be a little bonus to him wanting to get another steering wheel. Um, but I'm really, like I said, I'm really excited to see how this truck comes around. Might take me a little bit longer than it took the red truck. Um, you know, it isn't in my house, it's over at my friend's shop's house, so I'm getting to work on it when I can here and there. Um, just trying to get as much done as I possibly can while also helping him out. Um, he's a really nice guy, I really, really like him. He's, uh, he's helping me out quite a bit with this truck. Um, I'm trying to do as much as I can to help him out as well. So, I don't know if you guys need fire extinguishers or any kind of fire safety stuff, but that's what he does. Um, a plus fire and safety. I will get some more information from him and, and see about uh, giving him a little spot on my channel here. Just as a little thank you to me, from me to him. You know, I may not have a whole lot of followers, but just getting his name out there, my, you know, on my channel, I think. Um, just, just try to help, you know. So, A plus fire safety. I'll get a card from him. I will uh, upload that and give you guys his information if he if he uh, wants me to share that with you guys and we shall see you guys next week hopefully doing some more truck to this dodge i do have some stuff planned for the red for the red ramona so hopefully i get some of that going here in the next uh, next few weeks or so um sorry guys again i haven't really done a whole lot when it comes to these trucks because we are in the process of getting a home um we did get an offer accepted so we may be moving by the end of this month sometime so um, you know, I'm, I do again, I apologize if I haven't gotten a whole lot of content out. I have been super busy uh, with everything that I've got going on with my life and I'm glad to share it with you guys. So again, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tune in next week for some more footage. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.